Welcome to my channel. In today's question, we are asked to find the value of x if 9 combination x is equal to 4 bracket 7 combination x minus 1. This is a very interesting question. But before we proceed, let us remind, remind ourselves that if we have n combination x, it is n factorial over n minus x factorial x factorial. But x n, my, n, n factorial rather is equal to n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 like that until we get to 0 factorial. So let us now apply this in the question. First, 9 combination x is 9 factorial over 9 minus x factorial x factorial and 7 combination x minus 1 will now be 7 factorial over 7 minus x minus 1 factorial x minus 1 factorial. So we will now equate this side and this side. But first, let's multiply this one by 4. That is 4 brackets 7 factorial over 7 minus minus x plus 1 factorial because I'm opening this in our brackets all over x minus 1 factorial so I can now equate this part of the equation to that part of the equation it becomes 9 factorial over 9 minus x factorial x factorial is equal to 4 brackets 7 factorial over 7 plus 1 is 8 so we have 8 minus x factorial x minus 1 factorial let's close that bracket now let's apply this n factorial is n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 so this is 9 times 8 times 7 factorial over 9 minus x factorial and I have x x minus 1 factorial is equal to 4 brackets 7 factorial over 8 minus x and then it will now be multiplied by x minus 1 factorial let's close that bracket also so this 7 factorial here will cut this 7 factorial here and this x minus 1 factorial will cut this x minus 1 factorial so what i have next is now 9 times 8 over 9 minus x factorial times x is equal to 4 over 8 minus x factorial 4 here 1 4 in 8 is 2 9 times 2 is 18 18 over 9 minus x factorial becomes if we expand it it is now 9 minus x times 8 minus x factorial equals to 1 over 8 minus x factorial this will now cancel this let's remember our x here please before we make a blunder now what remains is 18 over 9 minus x times x is equal to 1 over 1. Now we cross multiply. When we cross multiply, 18 is equal to 9 times x is 9x and minus x times x is minus x squared. So I have a quadratic equation. If I now rearrange the quadratic equation, I have x squared minus 9x plus 18 is equal to 0. This is the quadratic equation. We will now solve this using factorization method. So the sum is minus 9x and the product is 18x squared. This is the sum and this is the product. Two numbers that will multiply to give 18 and I will add or subtract to give minus 9 are 6 and 3. So I have x squared minus 3x 
minus 6x plus 18 is equal to 0. I will now group. In the first bracket, x is common. So I will bring out that x, remaining x minus 3. In the second one, minus 6 is common. Uh, it now remains x minus 3 because 6 times 3 is 18. Minus times minus is plus is equal to 0. So these two brackets are the same. I will take one, x minus 3. And these other ones will now be put in a bracket. x minus 6 is equal to 0. So x minus 3 is 0 or x minus 6 is 0. Now x minus 3 becomes or x minus 3 equals to 0 will now be x is equal to 3 or x is equal to 6. Please like this video, share and subscribe.